Hey guys, Thunder E here, and uh, today we've got a cool comparison for you. This is between the Pixel 7a and the Samsung Galaxy A54. Now, shooting with the front facing cameras, both are shooting at 4K 30, and I am here, the sun is in front of me. You get an idea of how it looks, the colors, also the sound and audio from each of them. Now, I'm gonna do a quick spin around, and I'm gonna be backlit. I just wanna see who actually does a better job here with the sun behind me and what it actually looks like. But let's go ahead and check out the front cameras and do some more comparison on both devices. Now going to the front facing cameras, the uh, Galaxy A54 shoots at 4K 30 max, while the Pixel goes up to 4K 60. But I just wanna see what stabilization is, what the front facing cameras look like. Looking at some grass here. Of course, there's the road in front of me, the trees with the colors. Uh, yes, it's a, it's a lovely day here in Massachusetts. So let's see how it is. And then I'll show you, of course, uh, some uh, other shots with these devices. So we've taken a look at images and videos from both devices and yeah, you guys can pick a winner here, but I've seen some very interesting stuff. Now, let's go ahead and talk about performance. Now, we start off with the speakers because of course you guys want to know how the speaker test is. So let's take a quick listen to how the speakers sound on both the Pixel 7a and the Samsung Galaxy A54. Pretty good. They do, they both sound really good. I would give the slight edge to the Galaxy A54. It sounded a little louder and also a little bit more bass with that, but I think both devices actually do a pretty good job with the speakers. Now moving on to the, over to the other side of performance, which of course is gaming. Now we do know that the Galaxy A54 runs an Exynos processor while the, uh, the Pixel runs the Tensor G2. And we also know that the Tensor is based off Exynos, but let's see what that performance looks like. Now Tensor G2 is supposed to be of course more of a high-end chipset, so this should be a, an unfair comparison if you will. Starting off with Call of Duty Mobile, here on the uh, the Galaxy A54, we're able to do 60 frames per second, but you can see we are at max, of course, in terms of the uh, the settings of the game. While with the uh, Pixel 7a, we can actually go to um, the ultimate or maximum setting, which we usually get for multiplayer, and we're still locked in at 60 frames per second. But it's good to see it both run really smooth on both devices. The game runs well, so that's actually nice. Now moving over to PUBG Mobile, this is where we start seeing some differences with both chipsets and both devices. The Galaxy A54 can do, uh, can play PUBG Mobile at 30 frames per second. It uh, doesn't matter what settings I try or I lower it to, it is usually 30 frames per second. While the uh, Pixel 7a goes much higher, it can do 60 frames per second at, of course, uh, extreme HDR. So again, higher settings and of course, better performance there. And you can see it also runs much smoother on the Pixel 7a. Now, finally, Genshin Impact. This is one where uh, with both devices, 
Starting off with the, the Galaxy A54, I could not run this at the highest setting, so I ran it, of course, at just standard, and it did 30 frames per second. So I matched it with standard also on the Pixel 7a, which did 30 frames per second without any issues. When I moved over to the highest settings, though, it did uh, run that around roughly around 40 frames per second. So it does run higher, but you can clearly see that the Pixel 7a with the Tensor G2 processor has a slightly better performance overall. Now, when you look at both devices in terms of hardware, they have a very unique design. Now, the Galaxy A54 looks more like a Samsung Galaxy S device with just the design, having the camera layout similar and also having kind of those rounded edges. While the Pixel 7a feels like a very nice compact version of the Pixel 7, I really like the look and feel. In terms of the designs, I'm actually leaning a little bit more to the Pixel 7a. I like the fact that the hump doesn't feel as protruding and also the C color really stands out really well. And you can see how just the edges also flow quite nicely. Both look really good, although the uh, the Galaxy A54 looks like a much larger device. The Pixel 7a might be best for people who are looking for something smaller and a little bit more compact. Now, they both, of course, have in-display fingerprint sensors. With the Galaxy A54 feeling a little bit faster and snappier, the Pixel 7a looks to be using that older sensor that they have where you might have to press down a little harder to actually get effective uh, use. So what do you guys think of both devices? You looked at the camera, and this is focused more on the camera here and the images as well as video. What do you think they actually bring to the table? Do you think that the Pixel 7a is that best device in terms of uh, price as well as also camera functionality or do you think the galaxy a54 which is one of the highest higher selling um android uh, devices uh, out there actually is a better comparison in terms of uh what users can actually pick from this year let me know your thoughts and you're probably wondering what which to actually pick i would give the edge to the pixel 7a especially just for the gaming performance it does a little bit better in that area and i think it's also just a solid device overall but Leave your thoughts down below and always enjoy entertainment.